Hello, this is Bill Morgan, president of Parker University, and with me today is Dr. Joe Marcola. Joe, thank you so much for being here. Oh, you're welcome. So, to be here. We enjoyed your talk today. Yeah. Um, we're facing kind of a large, large healthcare crisis mm -hmm. in the United States with the impending disaster of adult onset diabetes. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things you would want to tell people that, that they should know about with the, the upcoming crisis with, with uh, type well, 2 Well, the first is to understand that nearly 80% of people, four to five of you watching this, are insulin resistant. And it's by some relatively sensitive assays. Eight out of 10 people, four to five people. So odds are, unless you're really metabolically fit, mm. you would know if you are, if you're your ideal weight and you're eating the right right strategies, then you probably not need to worry about it. But if you are, then you fall into the big category. Mm -hmm. The first and most important thing is to compress your eating window. Over 90% of us, 90% of us eat more than 12 hours a day. More than 12 hours a day. We weren't designed to do that. So compress your eating that window down to four to six hours, or actually, or six to eight hours. So you're only eating for 16, you're not eating for 16 or 18 hours. You know, half of that you're sleeping, so mm -hmm. it's not a big, big deal. Yes. But that's probably the most powerful doing. Just doing that, then of course paying attention to the types of calories, staying away from processed foods, would be key. I'm reminded of the uh, the Greek mythology um, character Cassandra. Mm -hmm. She, you're probably familiar with this. She she could tell the future, but her curse was nobody would believe her. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that way? That here we have. I mean, we've we've got the answer. It's just people aren't listening. What? How can we? How can we get the message out to the masses? about eating correctly? Well, they have to be internally motivated because it's some very difficult choices, personal choices, mm -hmm. and until they have a health crisis. It's kind of like almost an alcoholic. In many ways, mm -hmm. there's an addiction component. So, and t you know, the alcoholic frequently never changes until they're in the gutter, right? Mm -hmm. It's too, you know, they've, they've hit bottom. So many times the first uh, symptom will be a heart attack or, but, but you know what the most common symptom of heart, of heart disease is? Sudden death. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, and that's tough to treat. I hear. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. difficult. Well, to treat. Well, you know, we get we give adjustments for that. Yeah. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, one. breathe. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty tough to treat. But yeah, so you know, you almost have to have a symptom, and fortunately, it's not one that takes you out before mm -hmm. before you can. But you know, diabetes or Alzheimer's, it's frequently almost too late. Or you can reverse Alzheimer's, but you've got to be really, really committed, and it's so much easier to prevent it than to treat mm -hmm. it. Now, I have discussions with, with some physicians, medical doctors, and when I say that you can reverse type 2 diabetes, they're like, show me the data. What? Oh, gosh. That is the easiest thing to treat it. I mean, there's some complex, really challenging diseases, but diabetes and, and overweight, which, you know, six, two-thirds of our country are, are the absolutely simplest things to normalize. Normalize. The body, I mean, if all you, it's simple principles, and basically what we just described. Yes. Those simple things. I mean, there's obviously modifications. I've written books called fat for fuel and keto fasting mm -hmm. that go into more detail, but that's the, the principles. You just do that and your body heals itself. Imagine that, it has the it, wisdom to do it. It, it does, yeah. but if just think that, that the medical doctors I talk to, they don't believe you can happen, but it's, it's in the literature, it can happen. Oh we, yeah, it's well documented. It. Yeah. But it's like, if they can't, if they don't believe it, how can we get our, our the, the masses out here to believe it? Well, I, the, the, it's important for the public to understand, that's why I've written, have my site, mm -hmm. Mercola.com, that was I committed to because I knew it was not unwise to try to change the medical community because they're just mm -hmm. too entrenched and they're going to think you're a, 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 a non-credible quack, essentially. Uh, so that's why we focused our efforts to educate the public, give them the information that they can do it themselves outside the system. And they do. You don't need a doctor to do this stuff. No, no. You know, I mean, if you're taking medications, it's wise to have a consultant to monitor mm -hmm. you so that you can wean yourself off. But most of these things you, you can just, you know, do yourself. Well, take okay. control of your own health. Yes. Well, one of the things at Parker University is one of our, our, our values and missions is patient patient centric care put the patient the center of it and empower them to to, to to be part of their healing yeah 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 that's that's exactly what it's all about so thank you for your mission thank you so much for, for being your here. your efforts and the whole profession really because you know you've got tens of thousands of professionals out there who understand these concepts and are are really the forces so it's you know mm -hmm. educating and you're you know a case professionals who are open to this message and are able to transfer it to their patients, they can make a difference. Very much. Well, thank you for being here today. Oh, you're welcome.